I wanted to decorate a door with a low budget shoji screen. So this is what I did. And first I did a sketch of what it was going to be that would fit onto the door. I bought six of these. These are little uh, pieces of molding that are just $2.31 at Home Depot. I needed to buy some heavy duty aluminum foil, the wider type. I think it's 18 inches in length uh, across. And then for the stuff to do it, I needed some measuring stuff, a uh, miter box and a saw, some paint to paint the wood, and some paint to paint the aluminum foil, and some little nails to put it together. Very simple. And the whole thing cost 12 bucks or $15, so that's not bad. Okay, I've cut the horizontal bars on the piece, and now I'll have to measure and cut these pieces that'll fit here. And then I can start painting the frame. Okay, I, I took the door off the hinges and I've laid the frame of the shoji on the door. And now what I'm going to do, or what I've done, is mark the outside perimeters and the inside so that I'll know exactly what where the aluminum foil will go. Here are the sticks with the first coat of paint and it's gonna take them about an hour or two to dry. You can see I'm gonna need a second coat because the paint really didn't cover that well. So anyway, first coat down. Okay, I got some aluminum foil, heavy duty. It's eight, 18 inches wide, which I've rolled out and cut according to the frame and into this side. Now what I've done is I've crinkled it up into a ball, not really tight, and I'm opening it up. Now you have to be very careful because you don't want to tear any of the edges while you're undoing this. And just be patient and take your time and it'll come apart or open it up. Now, okay, this one I've opened up and this is what I do next. I just kind of start flattening it out, being careful with the edges so that I'm flattening the thing out, okay? Now, when you think you have it kind of flattened out, then you have to do it again because, well, you can leave it this way and have a very rough texture or what I wanted was to open this up even more. So I kind of lift it and press it and that seems to open or flatten out the paper even more. And like I said, be careful about the edges. So I've done that to this and you can see what that looks like. Okay, now I've measured them to fit this. So next we're gonna glue this down and fill the area with the paper. I glued the aluminum foil to the table or to the uh, door and then I tinted it a little bit with some acrylic uh, colors and so it kind of has a faux look and yet I think there'll be some reflective stuff from coming through from the aluminum. So that's the next step. The slats are done now so I'm nailing them to the door and you can see it's beginning to take shape. Okay, the door's done and that's what it looks like in place. <laughs>